bro. What's going on guys? We have left the terminal here and we are uh, we came to the loves nearby to use the scale. We are at uh, 11,660 in the steer axles, drive axles are 31,400 pounds and trailer axles are 33,840. So I could slide my tandems forward a little bit but uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm leaving it just like that. It's legal to run, so I'm, is it? Yeah, it's legal to run, so I'm running it just like that. No problem. Uh, if you guys know, remember, uh, legal limit is uh, 12 in the front, 12,000 in the front, 34,000 uh, drives, 34,000 uh, trailer tandems. So uh, it's legal, I'm running it, I ain't messing with I ain't messing with none of that pulling, you know, uh, especially since I have a older, uh, I have a three, I have a three series trailer, which means that the tandems are, you know, the pull stick, the lever. Uh, however, they do look like they are new, but uh, the tandems are mostly to the rear. Uh, I don't, they're not all the way to the rear. They're probably like a hole or two off. So I can move it like a hole or two to the front, but eh, whatever. We're running it just like that. It's legal. I'm running it. Ain't nothing, nothing else for me to do here. So we have about 586 miles to get to our delivery. Our delivery is at uh, 8 p.m. So we're going to shut down. Uh, at the fuel stop, which will leave me about, uh, let's see here, the fuel stop is about 464 miles, and that will leave me about uh, 120 miles, uh, two hours. Uh, you're supposed to get there at around 7 a.m., uh, 7 a.m., and uh, so seven, 10 hours from seven would be seven to five. So I'd leave at five and get there like around 7 p.m. Or I can do an A2 split um, and that would have me taking off like around 3 p.m. Uh, either way, I'm gonna make it on time. Um, not sure why they didn't have me, you know, take this load yesterday, I would've, I would have took this load yesterday, you know? I would have got here to the terminal yesterday and drove more the first day. But hey, it is what it is. Southland Casino, guys. There is a casino here. A casino. A, a casino. A casino. Casino. Cas casino. So, uh, South Southland Casino uh, here. I'm not sure why he's breaking. Uh, I hope he doesn't try to come out in front of me, but uh, all right, great job there, bud. Speed limit 65, he's probably going about 40 in the middle lane. Uh, uh, speed it up some there, kiddo, would you? But uh, other than that, guys, we're gonna have a great night driving. Uh, you know, I feel good. Uh, we have about six hours and 24 minutes before uh you know six hours and 24 minutes of drive time left before i uh am mandated by dlt to take my 30 minute break we're probably gonna take it at around the two hour mark um so like in another 200 miles or so 250 miles or so i'll go ahead and take my uh my break uh our our route is uh 55 north uh, to 57 north and then to 94 um, other than that it's a, it's a heavy load but it doesn't feel heavy Oops. 
so it doesn't feel that heavy. Um, it's definitely not 42,000 pounds, I can tell you that. It's probably at around, like, I want to say, like, maybe 38,000 pounds in the box. So, not too bad. Not too bad of a load. Gentle, gentle people. Gentle, gentle mans and gentle ladies. Um, I literally got in and out the terminal in probably, like, about 10, 15 minutes. I dropped the trailer, went inside, gave the bills, uh, got my bills, and used the restroom. But, um, they got an auction there. All right, nice. I don't think I've ever been on 55 North. Maybe I have. I'm not sure. They're all the same. It's just roads. That's all. Roads. Pow, pow. Uh, yep. Not, uh, I know Wisconsin has some pretty bad interstates. So, we'll see. Or is that Michigan? No, maybe it was Michigan. Maybe I'll get a load going to the Taylor, Michigan terminal again. Or from the Taylor, Michigan terminal. I haven't been there. I went there that one time that I came back from home time and that's it. But uh, anyways, guys. All right. While I'm bouncing up and down here, I'll see you guys later. Uh, talk to you guys later. You already know the rest. Peace. I'm going to rock out with my cock out. Bye-bye. What's going on, everybody? We are in Wisconsin right now. Uh, we're headed to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Uh, it's windy like a mofo out here, I'll tell you that much. But uh, yeah, so we're about 3.9 miles away from our destination. We have like about a mile. Uh, a mile to the exit here which i'm guessing would be the next exit uh not sure it would be exit 342 but um uh, so when i was looking at the satellite view for this uh receiver there is none uh whenever the satellite was done there wasn't any uh i think i don't think there was anything there so i guess we're just gonna have to figure it out yep that's what we're gonna do we're gonna figure it out 342 so we're gonna go ahead and get in this right lane safely and um, yeah I don't know if you guys can like see it or hear it or what but it's pushing me like a like a 10 pound chihuahua Sorry, I just had to do that. The seat was bouncing way too much for my liking. But uh, anyways, you guys were asking, uh, I know I saw a guy asking uh, why uh, why uh, in Riding With Dave's channel, you can see the hood and uh, if we're using the same camera or similar cameras. Well, uh, what I can say to that is we're both using GoPros. I got the GoPro Hero 8. I'm not sure what model he has. We're gonna take this outside lane here. Um, I got I got the GoPro Hero 8, but the thing is I don't sit. He sits higher than I do. I don't sit high at all. Um, yeah, I don't like sitting high. Uh, when you're like driving, it's kind of like if you're looking down on the road. Yeah, it's like if you're looking down on the road and um, also the seat just goes to bounce, 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 bounce. bounce. Alright, let's see here. We're going to see what this guy wants to do. We're going to go ahead and get in the right lane. And then we got to make a right... So we're going to go ahead and get in the, oh, no, right lane merge, turn right. Good thing I saw that. Good thing I saw that, guys. Good thing I saw that. We're going to, uh, windshield wash these windows really fast. Man, so let me tell you something I saw at the, uh, at my fuel stop. Man, this guy was legit 
I mean, you see people wash their truck with the squeegee, right? But I mean, this guy was watch, washing like his APU with the squeegee and all this stuff. And like, all right, come on, guys, don't be washing. Like, that's for the windows. And then you guys wonder why, like, you know, our windows are always like all those things are always like greasy and stuff like that. It's because mother f people like that decide they want to wash their freaking truck with the with the squeegee like mother if you don't like come on bro seriously dude but whatever my point being is it was freaking raining dude what the fuck are you doing like why are you washing your truck with the squeegee first second it's Getting raining. What the hell? I, I was just at a loss for words. Me and another driver, uh, not a CFI driver, just another, another driver. He's like staring over there at that truck, and I, cause I was staring like when I first pulled into the fuel island, and I'm just like, what the hell? And then he's, and then so he looks back. He looks back at me, and I look back at him, and we're just like. Dude, he's washing his truck in the rain with the squeegee. What in the hell? And then on top of that, is this the place? Yeah. Yes. Sometimes I, I like, okay, even though I have both GPS, both GPS is up and we're gonna stop, fuck. Even though we ha I have both GPS is up, I like to look at the sign first. So we're gonna go ahead and make this right on red here. But um, like seriously, dude, it's, f oh, what the hell was that? Oh, that's just like a piece of plastic or something. Like it's freaking raining, dude. Why are you washing your damn truck with the squeegee? But it's raining, why are you washing your truck? It's raining. It's raining. All right, so it's gonna be here, uh, uh, showing me on the left here. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm guessing it's this place here. I can't see that. Yeah, that's the place. So now we're gonna wait for the, this light comes in handy. Yep, that's the place. Yeah, so when the satellite view, it doesn't show that. So we're gonna wait for him just because he was already. Have you arrived? Uh, not quite, but yes. All right, and then after this, we'll be deadheading to somewhere in Wisconsin. Or Wisconsin, guys, by the way, Wisconsin. Uh, I'll be deadheading somewhere in Wisconsin to pick up my next load which will be going to I forget where in California it starts with a C though not like Compton or anything like that but somewhere in California no trash dumping all right we're gonna get behind this truck in this lane and all right guys let me check in and I will talk to you guys in a bit all right guys so we have checked in and uh, we're gonna go straight ahead it, this is a live unload Sadly uh, And then we're gonna Okay, so this is one section here. We're gonna pass these sections here and get into the 400 area Wherever the heck that's at All right, which would be probably like over here somewhere. Yeah, so two rows of trailers here And then would be this row. Yep. So we're gonna, she said, park anywhere in the 400 area. Make this left. And then, uh, let's see, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. This place is loaded. There's a spot right there, but that's coming right around the curb. Oh, look at a spot over here. All right, we're gonna go right here. 
gonna come right here. here and I already have my slandums all the way my slandums my tandems all the way to the back pick a spot here all right we're gonna get right next to this classic here crooked so we're gonna wait for this guy to go ahead we're gonna wait for this guy to go ahead I don't know how fast they're moving all she wrote so we're gonna go ahead and go off duty we're probably gonna get a 30 in here which would be okay wouldn't be too bad so we're probably gonna just grab something to eat really fast I don't know plus we gotta wait to get unloaded all right guys see you in a bit all right guys so they called us pretty fast not even like I was literally sitting here on my phone thinking about like you know what am i gonna make maybe some chicken nuggets or something like that and also thinking that i need to take out my food that i'm gonna eat tomorrow you know i'm gonna cook some a nice little meal and they called me so we're gonna go here and go ahead and go over to door 20 which is probably gonna be on the other side of uh this pole right here yeah 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 so yeah, I need to get my trailer straight more before I uh, start even my backing maneuver. All right. All right. We're going to back up here just so I can. Um, there we go. To the right go all the way to the left tractor is straight go up about I don't know eight nine ten feet or something like that
got to move it to the... We've got to go over to the right a little bit. So, we're going to take the... Tr take the steering wheel go to the right and go to the left and oh fuck man I fucked up I'm too far alright alright I'm gonna go open the doors alright and hold on, I'm gonna go to the left just a little bit because and I will be able to open the doors there. <laughs> Alright. Just rolling up literally at the slightest, which is all I need to get straight. Alright, let's go take off the lock and open the doors. I'll be back. <laughs> 